As a personal representative, are you allowed to sell a state property on your own or do you have to go to the court for permission first? This is an important question with a complicated answer. If you mess it up, you could find yourself in hot water with the probate court. In this video, we're going to get to the bottom of it so you stay out of trouble. My name is Eric Broll, and I'm the founder and CEO of Georgia Probate Law Group. At our firm, we help families who have lost a loved one navigate the complex and confusing legal process so they can make sure the estate is handled properly and their loved one's memory is honored. Everything discussed in this video is for general information and is not legal advice. For specific information about your situation, please go to gplg.com to request a complimentary consultation. As a personal representative, you have an obligation to handle the estate according to Georgia law. As a result, whether you can sell estate property on your own depends upon whether the court granted you expanded powers when you were appointed. When you serve without expanded powers, you are very limited in what you can do without court approval. Even some of the most common tasks, like selling an estate home or a state car, require that you obtain permission with the court first. To obtain that permission, you must file a petition for leave to sell with the probate court. Now, in that petition, you will need to identify for the court what you would like to sell, the reason you would like to sell it, and the proposed terms, including price, that you would like to sell the property for. Once the petition is filed, the court will send formal notice to all heirs and or beneficiaries to give them the opportunity to object to the petition for leave to sell. If an objection is filed, then the court will order a hearing. If no objection is filed, the court may or may not order a hearing and may or may not approve the petition. It will depend on what the petition says and how the court feels about it. Once an order is issued by the court on the petition, you must make sure to follow the terms of the order to the letter. For example, it's very common for the court to require you to make another filing showing the details of the sale transaction once the sale has been completed. It is very important to remember that if you do not have expanded powers, then you cannot sell the property until the court gives you permission. Since the petition for leave to sell process can take a month or two or more, you must plan ahead for when you want to sell property with that in mind. These can be complicated issues. If you would like help, please reach out to our friendly team and we would be happy to assist you. For more information about this and other probate topics, please go to gplg.com handbook to download a complimentary copy of our Georgia Probate Handbook. You'll learn the key things that go wrong in an estate, how to prevent them, and what to do if they happen. As always, thank you for watching.